The day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, November 21st, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Detroit Lions vs Cleveland Browns First-year head coach Dan Campbell hoped that his fiery personality would be able to lift the Lions to a couple of wins, but that has not been the case, at least so far this season. The Lions sit as the only remaining winless team. There really hasn't been much to be pleased with on either side of the ball for the Lions, as they rank 28th in the league, with 319.4 total yards per game, to go along with being 29th in the league, scoring just 16.7 points per game. The trade of Matthew Stafford for Jared Goff certainly has not paid off for the Lions. Goff has just eight touchdowns to his six interceptions. Even worse, he has fumbled seven times and lost four of them. Our first betting advice is to pick Browns minus 11.5, the Browns injury riddle defense has managed an average of 23.1 points and 363.8 yards per game. Cleveland's defense has been a major disappointment, ranking in the bottom 10 in the NFL, with 24.1 points and 323.9 yards per game. Mayfield has battled through a major non-throwing shoulder problem to complete 161 of 246 pass attempts for 1,990 yards, 9 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. Nick Chubb has been great in 7 games when healthy, carrying the ball 120 times for 721 yards and 6 touchdowns, while David Njoku is the team's leading receiver with 22 catches for 352 yards and 2 touchdowns. Garrett has been dominant, racking up an NFL high 13 sacks, along with 13 tackles for loss, and 24 quarterback hits. Our second betting advice is to pick under. San Francisco 49ers vs Jacksonville Jaguars. Jimmy Garoppolo was once again a game manager and not much more, but he was efficient, completing 15 of 19 passes for 182 yards and 2 touchdowns, with Debo Samuel leading the team with 97 yards on 5 receptions and 2 total touchdowns. The 49ers defense picked off Matthew Stafford twice, and the 49ers nearly doubled their rivals in the time of possession. Even so, the Jaguars weren't outplayed by their divisional rivals Colts. Nonetheless, their poor execution in the rivals' side of the field was what led them to a 23-17 loss. Both got 15 first downs, and they even won the total yards duel 331-295. The Jags' offensive line was shaky once again, allowing three sacks for a loss of 11 yards. Our first betting advice is to pick Jacksonville plus six. The Jaguars have had their fair share of offensive struggles this season, ranked number 23 in yards per game, 332.7. Quarterback Trevor Lawrence has completed 58.0% of his passes for 1,983 yards and 8 touchdowns, but he has also thrown 9 interceptions. He went just 16 of 35 for 162 yards against Indianapolis last week. Running back James Robinson, who is the team's leading rusher, returned to practice in a limited capacity on Thursday. He is dealing with a knee injury and is officially questionable for this game. Wide receiver Marvin Jones Jr. has caught 38 passes for a team-high 434 yards. Jacksonville is going up against a San Francisco defense that ranks 8th in the NFL, allowing 331.4 yards per game. Our second betting advice is to pick under 46. Indianapolis Colts vs Buffalo Bills. The Indianapolis Colts have been a decent defensive team this season as they are allowing 23 points per game. In their previous game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, they gave up 17 points on 331 total yards of offense, 152 passing, 179 rushing. The Colts need to work on stopping the run, as Jacksonville gave up 7.5 rushing yards per attempt. Indy also were able to force a fumble as they were able to block a punt and return it for the touchdown. 
The Buffalo Bills have been one of the best defensive teams in recent history, as they are giving up 15 points per game. In their previous game against the New York Jets, they allowed 17 points on 366 total yards of offense, 296 passing, 70 rushing. The Jets struggled as they went just 3 of 13 on 3rd down and 1 of 2 on 4th down attempts. The Bills need to defend the run better as they gave up 6.2 rushing yards per carry. Our first betting advice is to pick Indianapolis Colts plus 7. Following a breakout campaign in 2020-2021, it has been more of an up-and-down season for Allen this year. He's completed 66.3% of his passes for 2,602 yards, with 19 touchdowns and only 6 interceptions for the season. Allen could be down a key offensive lineman for Sunday's game against the Colts. Right tackle Spencer Brown was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list on Thursday and is expected to miss Sunday's contest. On defense, Buffalo has allowed a league-low 15 points per game and only 274.1 yards of total offense per contest. The Bills rank as the NFL's second stingiest pass defense at just 190.2 yards per game, and they've allowed just 83.9 rushing yards per contest, good for third in the NFL. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Miami Dolphins vs New York Jets. The Dolphins are having a tough season with the offensive being the team's downfall, scoring only 17.7 points per game. Tua Tagovailo looks poised to start the upcoming game, but he has struggled under center, completing only 65.3% of passes for 199.7 yards per game, with 7 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. In the passing game, rookie wide receiver Jalen Waddell has emerged as the number one pass catcher, with 557 yards and three touchdowns, while tight end Mike Jasicki has 529 receiving yards and two touchdowns. The hope is that the run game can also step up with Miles Gaskin leading the team in rushing yards, with only 344 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown for a Dolphins rushing attack that is only averaging 73.6 yards per game. Our first betting advice is to pick Miami minus 3. Flacco takes over an offense that ranks number 20 in the NFL, averaging 354.3 yards per game. Running back Michael Carter has rushed for 367 yards and 4 touchdowns. Former Tennessee wide receiver Corey Davis has pulled down 29 receptions for a team-high 442 yards, while Carter has added 31 catches for 306 yards out of the backfield. Elijah Moore has scored three touchdowns in his last two games. They are going up against a Miami defense that is number 29, giving up 383.1 yards per game. The Dolphins have now won consecutive games since losing seven straight games. They picked up a 17-9 win over Houston two weeks ago, and their upcoming schedule includes the Jets, twice, Panthers, Giants and Saints. Miami is currently at the bottom of the AFC East, but four wins in that five-game stretch would put them back in the mix for a playoff spot. The Dolphins have struggled offensively this season, ranked number 30 in the NFL with 321.7 yards per game. Running back Miles Gaskin has rushed for 344 yards and one touchdown on 100 carries this season. Wide receiver Jalen Waddell and tight end Mike Jasicki have been the top weapons in the passing attack, they are going to face a New York defense that is dead last in the NFL, allowing 417.1 yards per game. Our second betting advice is to pick under 44.5.